computer for now. Okay. There you so, go. Did you hear that also? I did. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I had last time. So. <laughs> So are you seeing my screen okay? Are you seeing the captain's cabinetry page? Yes, I am. Okay. I didn't really know where to start. So what I thought I'd do is, uh, uh, I and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to keep sipping on that water a little bit. So, But uh, I thought way. we'd just start on this page just because it was uh, one of the ones that I was recently working on. Yep. And as you recall, what I did is I just uh, went, I took the words from your email and I just pasted them onto this page. And okay. then I thought, well, we'll go ahead and we'll edit this page to make it kind of look the way that you want. And then what was down here, starting about here, was the original page before I pasted your words above it. Okay, and where I, are we at? Uh, are we on I'm the sorry? products page? On the uh, Yes, uh, I'm, I'm okay. on the products page. And okay. can you see right here, it says products up here? Yeah. Are you seeing, are you seeing yeah. that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, so that'll tell you always what, what page we're actually working on. So throughout the time that we're working together, whenever you have a question or an issue, you can say, Mark, I was on this page or this page. And that lets me know what page you're actually, you know, you want to do something or whatever the case may be. Okay. So uh, I'm on the products page. Then down here was, uh, was, was the original one before I added your words here. This was a photograph, but I think you deleted, removed many photographs. So this code got left there, but we'll clean that up. But there okay. actually, I'm sure that there's a photo module or photo widget right here. Okay. Well, I was so, wondering, I I didn't review um, the products page, so okay. we can do what it. Page? I have no problem. Um, okay. But I have to refresh my memory because the rest of the it, problem, I, you know. What, where would you like to start? Because they're all the same to me. So really, whatever is best for you. What were you well, thinking? I was wondering if you want to start the 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 header. Okay. So the headers up here, as you know, so one of the things that, uh, and this is recording, so this is new information for you. I think yeah. we mentioned it in uh, one of our first times together is that the uh, header and the footer yeah. would have to be accessed somewhere differently. It's slightly different, looks the same, but you've got to get to it a different way. And then yeah. the, the part that we're always working on is the is the body or the content area of the page. Yes. So uh, up here is the, the header, where you find the header and the footer are under the templates. And okay. right now it looks like we've got several different ones. You know, you could have just a few templates or you could have many templates. Every website's, you know, different. I think what I did was I started to, well, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Some of these I had saved from uh, before and moved them over, but then they, so that we could move them elsewhere. Okay. But what I want to show you is right here, I can see that the we have the header with the white background and then we have this other header. And so one of those I'll eventually want to remove, I think, because I set those up for you to take a look at. So this looks like the one with the white background. So let, let's just go here right now. So okay. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take a second to open. And this will look very similar because it still is. It's called Beaver Themer instead of the Beaver Builder page. And so now we're going to be able to edit the just the header part. Okay. And so... Uh, why don't we go ahead and I'll be quiet and say, now, what would you like to do? I know one of the things we have to change some of the menu items. We have to add Cambria. Yep. So yep. do you want to do that? Can we do that first? Sure. Okay. So right here, uh, well, and actually I said, I, I would do that first. We have to first change the menu before we can change how it looks here. So let's okay. go ahead and change whatever else you want. And then I'll show you how to quickly change the menu so we can do that. Okay. Is there any way like the, um, site we were looking at where like captain's cabinetry and the home and everything is a little bit a little bit smaller in the aspect that you can see the picture that's going to be behind it um kind okay. of like go ahead okay what it is is that what all we're looking at and what has opened for us to edit is only you can see right here only this rectangle <clears throat> only this had header now we okay. could add many other parts of the row, you know, many, we can make this as long, high or tall as we want, but we've okay. made a header that's shaped like this. Now, what you're asking about is the content area and that, okay. and that doesn't show up because we're not, because we're the content there. could be on any page. Okay. So the, does that, does that help you? So well, all we're editing is this rectangle right here. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. 
got the new logo. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, we mentioned um, possibly adding the the Facebook, Twitter, or not put that on here. We're going to put that at the bottom. Um, the add-ons. If you look at um, Hughes's Chicken and or sorry, Kitchens and Bath, um, it had a little bit of the. the um, oh, let's see. I can look it up on mine. Have it where you can get to it. Let me see. Um, that's right here. Yes. Okay. So at the very top, if you go to Hughes's, um, Hughes's Kitchens and Baths, it has a tel telephone thing and it says um, schedule an in home design consultation and then send us a message. Um, visit our showroom, those type, types of things. I was just curious what your thoughts on that is. Okay. All right. So, I, excuse me, give me a minute to get this. So, the huge kitchen and bath, I don't know, are you seeing that that screen yep. of mine? Okay. Yeah. So, I'm there now. But you're talking about are these things up here? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can add these at any time. That All that we're going to do, this the way that they created this was this is a row. It's a very small row, it's a narrow row. And we can gotcha. add one of those without a problem if you, if you decide you want to do that. Okay. Uh, let, let me just take a look at something here. I want to shrink this down. Yeah, okay. So give me one second. So uh, it, some of these don't always show up on a phone. So I think these show up on a larger screen. But if you pull this up on your phone, these may or okay. may not show up uh, yeah. on a phone. But, but there's no problem. If you want to add those, at some time we can do that. Now, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, I think it's a personal taste type of thing. It, it's it's okay. it's a quick menu. What they did here, let me see, click underneath here. Th this is not this is to me that what they did here. This is a little bit crazy. I'm not sure what they did here. You see how this is dropping? That's almost like, like that? that's for a phone type. Yeah, I didn't even see that part. Nor normally, the hamburger they call this a hamburger menu, and normally a hamburger menu only appears uh under on mobile devices or when you want it to like you may want to hide a menu you know you don't want it showing all the time but with this overlay this that what they did here when i click on it this does not make sense and then it's these no. things these same buttons show up on the left hand side so obviously the person you know hit some wrong buttons or they're still learning right. so no uh, i'm yeah, I'm definitely not interested in that part, but just the top part, I wasn't so, too sure. So then let me, so, so getting back to your point, you, these are fine if we do these. Uh, okay. Sometimes they put the, um, you said about on the bottom, sometimes I've seen the social media buttons on top uh, with okay. a phone number sometimes right here. That's how, okay. that's one of the, one of the templates actually shows that it's the, okay. it's the phone number and email. And then over here, it's your social media buttons. So okay. I think that these all writer review, customer reviews, this is kind of, it's not that it's redundant. I know that those are separate, uh, you know. No, well, so yeah, basically, you know, send us a message or schedule an in-home design consultation. You know, is that something that, or should we just put that all down beneath? So we can go back know, to that too. Kelly, I would say it's, it's something that's going to be so e easy to, Going and in and out them. whenever you want. You can try okay. and see what you like, ask customers and that type of stuff. Because I, I don't think that there's a right or wrong answer on this. So okay. Uh, okay. And, and the other thing that I would say is that we have the ability that this row that's on top of, you can see that's on top of this row. Are you seeing that okay? Like yep. in your mind? Okay. So so basically uh, it's on top of the header. Yeah, exactly. So so my point is is that we can have different headers appear on different pages, as you know. So what you could do is on this one, on your home page, you could have this row appear above your, above this row in your header. But on the right. other pages, maybe you don't need these to appear on your other pages. Okay. Okay, so, so if we can go back to captains. Uh, okay, we can definitely do that. Give me one second here, <laughs> move this thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. 
So all we'd, all we'd end up doing, so I'll just show you how quick and easy it is to do here. We go rows and then we would just drag it over here. And then we would, uh, and actually I put it in the wrong spot. I'm gonna have to move it up just a little bit outside so it's above it. And so now it's in it, see how they're okay. separate rows. And okay. then all we'd end up doing is changing the width and, and height and then put the different modules in there, the phone number, the links and that type of stuff. Okay. So, so we can do that later. We can do that. I can try to do that now if you're interested, whatever is best for you, Kelly. We can do it later. Okay. Um, okay. That's a good call. because really, So I just deleted that and then we're back, back to here being in this, in this header row. Oh, just a second. I lost you. There we go. Okay. Um, I was just curious. If you look at um, Lyndon's Kitchen and Baths, Okay. Okay, you see how, do you see how like the logos here and then the home and services and everything's up higher and then that, is there any, because it, when you bring this up, you see the picture and then you see that and it's easy to read and so forth. Sure, and so let me let me just make sure I'm I'm understanding what what you're asking. Then I'll I'll, I'll answer the question to the best of my ability. Uh, right now, when this you saw how long it took to load because again, whether they have a slow server, uh, they right. have poor script, you know, code. But that waiting is 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 definitely not a good user experience. And okay. someone with a slower connection or on a phone, it would take even longer. So that so so yeah. you saw that happen here. So this top part, as you see. Uh, what they've done is that they have the row that includes this menu, and mm -hmm. then they added uh, another. So, the, and this is a full width row, and right. then they added this row here that is a uh, fixed width. Fixed. Does that make yeah. sense to you? Yep. And so, and then what they did here was that they added uh, an image on top of this somehow, and I'd have to double check see how they're doing that, but but. If you wanted your logo to be that much larger, or to say, is is that is this the part that you're asking about, or is this the part that you're asking about? Actually, both. It was just kind of nice to see the logo and then have all of that. It's just very simple. It's it's easy to look at, easy to navigate through. Um, we definitely wouldn't have the "We are open by appointment only." You know that. Um, this line, this row. Right. But we could put something else there or, you know, I don't, not exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, and so this is my own. Uh... And I, Mark, I'm seriously, you have done many of the, you know, I'm newer to this. So okay. if you can well, say. So, 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 so uh, thank you. And I, and, and we're, and I'm always learning new stuff and, and, and I'm sure you are also. And that's, a, that's a great way to be for me. Uh, and then when I looked at this originally, and, and hopefully these are not relatives or friends of yours or like that, this looks like a real ego trip. And I, yeah, I tried I'm, to explain. Yeah, ahead. I'm not worried about the logo. We yeah, be well, logo. And it's even the whole size of it. Like if you yeah. look at yours, you know, it fits proportionally. Okay. It's easy to read. It's not, it's not like, you know, it's captains, you know, <laughs> yeah, and th yeah. this, here, this here makes this so large, like, is this K and B? Is this LKB? Is this KB? I, you know, this, and, and then again, they're, they're even wrong. It's 2023. So it shows that they're, you know, but forget it that whole part. Been, so yeah. I don't really, I don't like this large, you know, this draws mm -hmm. so much attention to here. Right. Whereas if you're liking what they're providing and the slide, that type of stuff. So I think what you're doing here is totally fine and appropriate. Now, what I had mentioned, okay. just as, a, you know, again, to clarify, this kitchen and bath, there's no magic to have this. Uh, first off, with the color in the background, as I mentioned, that's adding another color. But this kitchen okay. and bath could is just as easily be to the right. You know, it doesn't. There's no magic because it's underneath. You know, so and if it went to the right, you know, or put it somewhere else. So, uh, so what I would say is that your logo is clean. It's easy to read. The colors are good. It makes sense. You okay. know, everything's fine. Uh, but I, I this whole thing about the the larger overlay, you okay. know, whether you have this, I, I would not I don't see that as an advantage. This okay. this to me is kind of an ego. Like this is the most actually when you look at it, 
this is supposed to be like the most important thing because it's much larger than the menu. It's much larger than their phone number, yes. you know, and really yep. it's, it's, it's an ego trip. So, but I think okay. your logo is fine okay. here and, uh, and it serves the purpose. So. so would you do the kitchen and bath on next to it? Uh, yeah, I, well, it, it's it's a thought. I, I again, I I think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I personally, just again, I, I know I think you may be the. I don't know if you're doing it or Captain. I'm or not. If, uh, okay, so I I think you're adding a color here that does not add good contrast. You've okay. got a khaki underneath a brown, so it doesn't make it that much easier to read. At least okay. here, you've got a brown, a dark under a white. You know, the you you darkened it's up the blue. You know, so at least that all looks fine and that type of stuff. Um, it's crisp. And it's crisp, exactly. So so that, that's all you read. Whether or not you need that colored background, I'm not sure that you do. And then what I also, again, if I was going to do it, I would remove this rectangle that's underneath and stretch the words out a little bit farther if, if that's what you want to do, if you want them underneath. You know, okay. because you can see here, you've got to kind of, uh, it all of a sudden narrows in and, and you, that's fine. But, you know, I think part of the reason why you're near whoever narrowed it in is because, you know, you've got this huge khaki box underneath there. So right. I, I would get rid of the khaki. It has no, you're adding another color for no, for little or no value. That's okay. just my, just my opinion. <laughs> well, it's nice to, and then they're, to, they can change it pretty easily. You know, I think yeah, absolutely. I, I I could change that. You know, in ten minutes, I I could change the whole thing for you. I mean, it's not it's not it's not a big deal to change something like that. Okay. Maybe not even so ten minutes. Go ahead. So you're thinking that you know, take the can out, um, take the box out, actually. Take the box out because you don't need like. that underneath. You're right, correct. You don't need to contain those words. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And, and, and then we'll and then it. the thought and then the thought for you to think about, you know, I don't know that it would look any better or worse, something like that. But you know, you, you can put the kitchen and bath, leave it underneath, make it a little bit larger. Uh, or at some point in time, you know, where it says remodel, refresh, and reimagine, that would also be an okay place to put, you know, kitchen and bath specialist, you know, or you know, what I toss that word back in there because it's really it's kind of a byline in a way, but Anyway. So you could do remodel, refresh, reimagine, and then underneath in a little bit, you know, however we want, um, kitchen and bath specialist. You could do that also. Again, you've got lots of other options. There's no magic for it to be underneath these these two words. Okay. So because really, I, I think the name of the company, and we're, I mean, Captain's Cabinetry, that's what people would 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 call it, you know, and, right. and, and you know, but and the kitchen and bath specialist or kitchen and bath says what you do. Those are great words to attach with the business, but they don't necessarily have to be part, uh, you know, exactly every part of a logo. Right. But, well, but again, because if, we do more than the kitchen and baths too. That's an important, that's, that's very important. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Other stuff on the header area there. What about, I, we're going to change the menu in a minute because you, we want to add the word Cambria uh, yeah. there. And then I think there may be one or two other changes, but is there something else that you wanted to talk about in the header? Um, the blue will eventually match whatever captains, the blue that's in the captains once we figure out what, because Paul is thinking about it. So um, okay. they'll eventually match, correct? Whatever you want. That's not a problem. What I notice here, I believe what I'm seeing, it looks like the person is using a shadow effect in the lower part, you can yeah. see it's kind of black. Are you seeing that on your screen? Yeah. And yeah. so I think what they're doing is that when they're using a graphics thing program is that they're adding the shadow effect. And so uh, this is, excuse me one second here. You're fine. This is one of the graphics programs I use here. Uh, let me, and I'll just create file and then uh, new, and then new, new. So uh, text. And so you can start to see here, like this is when, you know, some of the ways you can quickly add, you know, a, a shadow, like this is kind of what this is a shadow on the bottom. So then you go over here and you start, uh, let's see. Oh, that's not good. 
So this actually, the, right now, the out, outline is, is white, whereas the fill is, is dark. I could easily change the fill, you know, to be uh, orange. So and where are you at? Oh, you're not seeing it on my end. It's okay. I, I won't bother doing that because I, I I thought I was showing you the screen. Uh, <laughs> what they've done here, sorry about that. What yeah, they've done okay. here is they're you they're using a graphics editor that has a dark shadow on the on the bottom is what it appears. Okay. And Paul and you may or may not like that. It may or may not make it easier or crisper to read. Uh, okay. Whereas you can see here, there is no shadow effect in these words in this word. Okay. Are you seeing that? Yeah. So, the the shadow effect. It's okay, you know. Right. Again, it's a better taste, but whether or not it adds the crispness and clarity, that's that's uh, your call. Okay. All right. Uh, and and I guess when I'm on the topic, you you've got this is something you do want to think about, and 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 I think it's okay the way he's got it or whatever. But this is one type of font. You've got serifs on the on the on these on this font, and then you don't have serifs here. And it's not that you do or don't need them or do, you know, um, but it's, it's something to be aware of. You may want to look at it. Do you like it with? Do you like it without? Do you like it with? you got to help me. What is serif? Uh, I've the, seen the it, little, but the, I don't know. The little hook at the end. You see at the S, it's oh. on the bottom. And then the C, it's uh, it's right at the end of it. Where okay. look, look at the C in captains and look at the C in cabinetry. Okay. Yep. And so the, the ser serifs are the ones that have the hook and then sans serif, S-A-N-S, -S, would be without without the little uh, serif. So do you want them normally? Do you want them to, to be the same? Uh, you know, again, the, the, there's not a right answer on this. Okay. The, it, it clearly looks different. And sometimes that's good because it makes the word captains look Things different. Out. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, there are so many different fonts that have serifs and sans serifs that I, I don't know. And now when I say that to you, Kelly, like uh, here, this C uh, is a different type of C. Well, let me see if I find a different word. Uh, the R. Okay, if you look at the R in cabinetry, there's no serif. But right. I'm using it, I'm, you know, again, there's not a right or wrong answer. But you can see it's a slightly, it's not just that it's bold, it's got kind of a different look to it. Right. And so if you're paying some graphics person, you and Paul probably should look at, you know, five or 10 different fonts. And you can see them online, you know, which font might, you know, do you want, or maybe it's not that important. You know, as I mentioned before, it's only a logo, you know, so right. you don't want to, you don't want to spend your whole day you know, worrying about a, a serif or no serif, but okay. at least you want to be thinking about that. The shadow effect, I'm not sure about that. You know, as I as I look more closer, um, I, I don't know if it adds to it or not. Okay. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Especially so how about under the other... A, the hook of the A where it goes up and then down where it goes up. Yes. It, you can, yeah, you can yeah, see. Yeah, you can see that. So yeah, go ahead. How about is there other stuff on the header? I'll show you how to change the menu here and say you so you said about the blue. So we will match this blue to whatever, yep. you know, with the menu whatever color to whatever color you want. That's no problem. Okay. Is there anything else that you can think of that would make this look nicer or anything like that? Well, right now, if I remember correctly, let me let me hit done and hit publish, go out of this. Curiosity. So it uh, so one of the things that I, you may want to think about, you know, again, there's not a right or wrong answer. Right now we've got the white background. And one of the reasons why we went with the white background or that I did is mm -hmm. because the logo that you gave me had this uh, white in the in the background, basically. And okay. so if, if, if they gave it to you as a PNG uh, a file with a transparent background, then you can put the PNG with the transparent background on whatever color or shading or gradient that you want because it will show through. But okay, you the can PNG, see you said. It's a dot PNG. Yeah. The, the, the okay. person will understand. Yep. All they have to do is just go file, save as, they'd save it with a transparent background. Okay. But that would also negate this, you know, khaki color because, you know, 
that khaki would not be transparent. You you know, this was added. And so you'd want it to be, you know, no, no container and no background. Okay. okay. Um, so and I know we're going to have the picture around it. So I think that, you know, this is simple. Okay. And when you say the picture around it, so that, that that's what I'm partially re remembering, not remembering. So I think, okay. So uh, on, on the home page, and if we go to like the Linden one, they have this here. And the reason why they have the colored background is because, well, number one, so you can see it for contrast mm -hmm. uh, and it scrolls with it. Um, let me see this other one. This one is, is fixed. So if they had them, the, you can see they don't have the menu set properly. Right. There's no, right. there's no way to easily navigate. No. And so whereas here they've got the menu set, uh, but it it's 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 uh scrolls with it. Right. And, and so I definitely we, want that to stay fixed. Yes. So so you, you want it to shrink like that, and then normally the menu would appear here. here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's the way we have it. We have it fixed. Okay. And right now we have it fixed and it looks like it doesn't shrink. And right. it, it, and I, th I think part of the reason was the sizing issue. Uh, let me go back to template and then header with the white background. Well, I should have gone a different place. I think I have to go somewhere else <laughs> and change this. Yeah, let me hit. There's probably a way to do what I wanted to do a different way, but the way that I know how to do it is here. So I'm going to go here to the dashboard and click here and the dashboard will show up. And so then over here, uh, this is where I go to the theme or layout. Now, these are the templates, but I'm going to go to the theme or layouts, which they're basically, I, I, is what is there a difference? I'm not 100% sure what the differences are, but so I'm at the theme or layout and this is that header with the white background. And so what I want to be able to do, this is how, again, there's probably more than one way to do this. But this is how I can set it either uh, sticky or shrink. You see this here? Okay. Are you seeing the screen yep. okay? Yep. Again, this is probably not something you're going to change on a regular basis, but you asked, you know, whatever. So right yep. now we've got it so it's sticky, but it doesn't shrink. I believe okay. when we change it to shrink is that it goes, your logo goes quite small. Uh, let me see here. Okay, let this me... is what you were talking about. So yes. I was just wondering if we could, yeah. And so let me hit yes, and then let me hit update. Still updating, okay. <laughs> let me go here. And then, so you can see what happens oh, here. Oh, goodness. Is there any way to make it just a little bit smaller or not? I uh, not. The answer is I, I would have to give that some additional thought. I think part of the thing is that where this, uh, the logo size, it may be, I, the answer is I'm not positive. And, okay. and I don't know if it's that, but this is shrinking because of the size that we put it in and it started. Uh, so, so the answer is I'm not sure. Okay. But this this gets too small. Oh, definitely. Um, whereas, you know, again, this this is another example. If it was just Captain's Cabinetry and the words were kitchen and bath specialist over here, then these words can start out, you know, larger, and then they don't shrink down as much. It would be more clear. So. So yeah, I it's just crazy. Yeah. Well, it, I and I, and I think part of the reason is is that all devices are so many different sizes. You know, and some people view it uh, horizontal, vertical, tablets. You know, that type of stuff. And also the resolution that some people use high resolution, some people are using lower. So I think what okay. this is said is is, and I don't know the answer because you can see like everything doesn't shrink down that much. You know. You see what happens? It's, yeah. it's that it's a logo. And I think, an idea, and I don't know why that is that people don't want to see the logo more. So I'll have to check on that. But okay. right now we've got a, we've got it set for fixed. It'll be okay. a project for me for later to see. I'm going to go back <laughs> now and turn off. So I'm going here. I'm going to go to the theme or layouts. I'm going to go to the one with the white background, header white background. I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to hit shrink, no. And right now you can see it's set for the entire site. So okay. it looks like we don't have any exclusions there that I can tell. So and hit update. I thought we had a different one on the contact page. 
second here. I want to check something. Yep. Contact, but yeah, so shrink header. Yeah, this was the one I was showing you. I, I didn't need to do all that. I wasted our time here because I on the contact page, I have it so it shrinks to show you that example. And yep. uh, so anyway, it, 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 would, it was already set that way. Yeah, so, you're right. Okay, so the, what I wanted to show you was the menu, how to edit the menu, because we want to add the word uh, Cambria. Yeah. Cambria. And so. Uh, Cambria. Well, Cambria, okay. Uh, <laughs> Cambria. Uh, I uh, had okay. to learn too. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll eventually get it right. Probably have to get the, everything done. I'll finally have it. So what we want to do is want to change the the uh, the menu. And so let me go here to appearance and then menus. And uh, so here I am at the menus. You could have different menus on your website, so you're not limited to one menu, but we've got the main menu, and we can see here, it looks like I already added it. So, oh. uh, home, about us, uh, Cambria, let me see where that's at. Okay, so now Cambria Premier Partner, all of that should. It's save menu. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. Now, why doesn't it appear? So let's I see. Don't know. Okay, I bet you I know why. So let, let's take a look at this because I probably have this as maybe the wrong menu. So let's go back to the header area. This is great to troubleshoot because you, okay. you wanted to, something's not working, what's going on here? So I'm yep. going to go back to the one with the white background, header white background. Try this again here. Templates, header white background. Loading now. It's taking a second. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is that uh, you already know this. As you hover over the different things, you get a wrench. Yeah. And so I, I'm going to click here to, to check the menu settings. And so the menu that's showing right here. Uh, this this menu I have it accidentally set for the footer menu, and okay. I need to change it so it's the main menu. And so now you can see it's too large, but you can see what happened. Okay, so there was some troubleshooting. Why is that not showing mm -hmm. up? It's set for the wrong menu because I told you you can have a footer menu, a header menu, all different types of menus. You probably won't, but you could. Okay. You 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 could if you had you know lots of different cabinet makers, but you probably do it a different way. So what we have now is we have too many of these, it's too large and uh, the space is not happening. So let me just add, so let me hit done. Okay. And hit publish. And so I don't remember, uh, Kelly, if, are you keeping all of these or do we need to so remove? So Home or? About Us, Cambria Products, Services, Galleries, blogs and contact us yes we were okay is there any so, way we could take the little square that's right next to captain's cabinetry out and we, then move we, that out? yeah we definitely can and that, that's on issue you have you have many different options here for how to fix this issue okay. number one is you can see you know do you have more do you have unnecessary words and uh, you know is the word us necessary you can decide or do you really like it you know or do you want you know but you know since it's your website about us or is it about you know whatever so you know you can you, you can decide that's one way that you could change that okay and you, had, you had asked about change, getting rid of this it actually is a column you said it was a square okay. and the reason <laughs> so let me go to the template and let's look at it so the answer is yes there's more than one way to do anything so Header with or the white background. We could also just make it a little bit smaller. You could, yep. And again, where some of this formatting comes in is you don't want stuff getting too close. You could remove it completely and add some padding or whatever. So right. if, there's, if that's going to let us change that a little bit more. So right now this is set for 8%. So uh, for the width of this column. So, and you can, you know, set it for the number of pixels or whatever, but let's just knock it down to, let's say, 
four percent and then hit save that changed it a little bit uh, another option is you know again you can stretch this out farther and then um To, uh, and, and you, you can certainly change on, on any of your pages, again, and, and any of the modules that you have, you, Kelly, as you're playing with different pages, can mess with, and when I say mess with, sometimes it's a messing with and it's good, sometimes you mess it up, and it doesn't, you know, but uh, the width of, of any module or widget or column or, or, um, or cell, but the issue is, is that the again, because there's so many different dimensions on tablets, screens, the, all right. that type of stuff, is that they will, it'll, it'll change it up on different things. So uh, what I wanted to show you here was, and I think that's okay for right now, but let me hit done, hit publish. Let's get rid of those two words and see what happens. Okay. And so I'm gonna go here, I can go customize. Here, this is looks slightly different. Again, it's different ways to get to, to different parts. And go to here for menu. And the main menu and the footer menu are here. I'm going to go to the main menu. And about, see what we added here. So you can see what I did was I clicked on it. Get mm -hmm. rid of those three spaces. And then we're going to change one other one. Um, contact us. So do the drop down menu, click here. There it goes. Okay. And now again, the, the thing that's, it can be a little frustrating is it right now it went on my screen, which is a larger horizontal screen. And maybe I don't know what size monitor you're working on. So then, you know, to you may look okay. Also for someone working on a smaller screen, it's going to, you know, sometimes it, it, it'll, it'll eventually start to uh, shrink down, uh, being responsive. And then we'll, it will eventually drop into a, a hamburger menu. So uh, okay, does that make sense? So so we, it would be helpful to eliminate one of those. Uh, not necessarily. Well, again, not yes or no, not necessarily. So what I'm showing you here, okay. Are you seeing my screen? Okay. Yep. Okay. So uh, you can see here not now this is the size. So if someone's on a tablet, you know, that roughly, you know, mm -hmm. most people don't have a screen that small. And then it's, you know, then it starts and it's soon it's going to drop to a ham. There it drops to a hamburger menu. So someone who's on like a, a small handheld tablet, they'd get a hamburger menu. For okay. someone on a larger tablet or, or an iPad, your menu might appear like this or like that. That changing. Yeah, it's, and they call it responsive design. So it's supposed to be better for the user, the user experience. If they have too small of a screen, it drops to a hamburger. If they have different size monitors or the resolution, you know, that's the other issue is what, what resolution do they have it set at? Okay. So but would it be I beneficial did, for me to put some of these in others? Like if I did put Cambria under products? Well, and see that that's what I, the, the answer is yes. I don't know that key, uh, that, that, that needs its own uh, menu, own spot on the navigation bar. You know, I'm going to try to find that out. Paul yeah, but, was thinking uh, yes, but I did find in other businesses that are premier partners that they did not have just a Cambria thing. And I think you can decide how much money this means, you know, overall, is it, is it, a, is it a top money maker? You know, that, that maybe it is worth highlighting it because it is, you know, deserves that extra spot and convenience for the user since, you know, 60 or 70% of the people want that, go ahead and give it to them right off the bat, you know, okay. and then you've got products. And then you also could include it underneath there. Now, one of the things I mentioned to you, like, well, you've got this here. So I don't know that you need to have, again, it's up to you. I think I mentioned this before. Every page underneath the navigation bar. And I think it was you, I mentioned to you before, that these can be hyperlinks on a page. Is that Did I talk to you about that or is that somebody else? 
let, let me yeah, let I me do. go here. Let me go here to the Cambria uh, Premier Partner page. Okay. So you see, you see over here. There's all this flyout. All those things came out, and well, I know done. that we for the Cambria. I know we can't change any of that. That has uh, to be with it. Okay. If, uh, and do and do they have to be flyout menus, or can they be links off the page? Because what I think what I'm saying to you is, and I okay. don't, it make it makes no difference to me. So, and it's totally whatever you you know, Paul, you guys decide, or if you're under some type some type of obligation. What okay. you have here is you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven uh, items, you know, a menu that now is seven items deep, and that yeah. that's kind of a lot for a flyout. You okay. know, four, four is deep. You've got seven. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. Now, see, what's supposed, just so you know, um, like the Cambria, um, underneath Cambria should be the Y Cambria and all of that. And, and that it is doesn't what's necessarily there. need to be under products. It's not under products. It's oh, oh. well, it would just oh, it would just be moved over. So it would still be these seven. I gotcha. You okay. see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You see that? And yeah. normally you would not, I don't think, again, I'd be very surprised if they say you have to do seven menu items underneath. Now, what you okay. want maybe are these uh hyperlinks somewhere on the page, you know, like edge profiles could be right here this this could say edge profiles okay. and then it could be a link to the edge profile page but i don't okay. know whether you need seven because right here you've got one two three four five six seven eight you've got eight menu items that's that's probably the most you'd want to go with you know five yeah. to seven is usually ideal you okay. know you've got eight going here um you know, okay, you I can about, check on. I can yeah. check on that. I'll have to get a hold of Cambria and ask. Okay, so it's just other. And again, if they want it, that's they're forcing you. It's not a big deal. It's just uh, on a phone. If you look on your phone, it may look a little bit different. And probably when we hang up, you can check on your phone and see how does how do seven look on your phone because it may not show. You may not even see them. You know. Right. So. Okay. Okay, so what would you like? okay? So we we've changed the navigation menu. It fits for now. We can make yeah. these small. We can make these smaller fonts, and we can make these closer together. If you decide you want to do that, so and if you take one okay. of these out, you know we can make them larger, and we can change the color, no problem. Okay, have you seen any like for the about? Have you ever seen that under home? I mean, is there if we need to. Uh, I, I, yes, absolutely. And I think you could do the, uh, about many different places. I, uh, that would be a, a quick and easy one to, to move or remove and put somewhere else. Okay. And okay. You, again, as I mentioned, you don't have to have it underneath the navigation bar, the navigation menu, this about button, as an example, could go in the, you know, down here at the footer area, mm -hmm. you know, you could have about, and then they could click here for more information, you know, as they're reading about, you know, captain's cabinetry and then clicks to, to read more click because it's highlighted. That would be one quick and easy way to do that. You okay. also could have uh, the hall on the home page, which is, let me get back to here. It's loading to one second. So yep. on the home page, you know, you could have some that just says about this gets into the footer area, but you could have a little bit about us and then have some information there or a hyperlink there as well. Where you go there. Okay. Cause that. You know, I can see, I can see them wanting to keep Cambria there because it is a mm -hmm. something that's important that people look for and come to us because we're a premier dealer. There's not many in Michigan. Yes. So, um, I could see that that is important. And then if we took the about off and then put it maybe in the footer or like what you're talking about, that might be good to do that. Because you I said blog that, posts that, are that. very good. Contact is important. Gallery is important. Services and products. So the only one I could really see that would be important or that we could take out is the about us. So I, I agree, and I, yes, I, I'll leave it there. If you decided you wanted to add a row across the top and put the contact information up there, the challenge, as I mentioned, is 
uh, sometimes it won't show up on a phone properly, that extra yeah. row that's up there. So so okay. I, th I think what you said is all 100% correct, Kelly. Okay. Is there anything else with the header you wanted to talk about? Or I know you got, you're going to decide about colors and, and size and that type yep. of stuff. I think we just need to work on that first. And I think that's, I mean, what do you think? If we yeah. do that, do you think it will look yeah. nice? Yeah, I, I, okay. I think you've got some, I think you've got some options to improve that. Okay. Better. So do you want to do the footer next or what, what do you? Sure. It makes no okay. difference. Whatever's good for you, Kelly. Okay. So the footer. So let me remind you. So I'm going to go to the template and then it looks like I only have one footer happening. So I go to okay. the templates and then footer. And so you take a minute to load and then it's going to look exactly like what you've seen before. And now you, this is the header. Hey, Mark, you said the footer. Well, I'm trying to click and I can't click on anything because I'm not in the, the footer area. Now I scroll down okay. and now, now it highlights. So, you, you know, okay. you, if, if something's not highlighting, you're not in the right place. So okay. I think scroll up, you'll get frustrated. Like I want to change this. <laughs> put it right here. Okay, that sounds good. So my Italian personality, I get frustrated. So <laughs> well, you're not the only one, and I'm not Italian. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, on top of the footer, um, we would like um ready to get started. Um, like you see in the kitchen and bath, um, for the direct kitchen and um, and bath. For who's so kitchen you, and bath? Um, it is um, direct kitchen and bath. It was nice. I believe this one had like a little bit of a picture behind it and it looked really, this looked really sharp. It is in Whitehall. Yep. Yep. So go down. Now, see, remember we talked yeah, about this one. You can see there's just too much movement as I'm scrolling I down. totally agree. Yeah. But see how that looks really nice? Or what did you think? If you go up a little um, bit more. Tell me again what I'm looking for. Sorry about so that. Go up a little bit more. Right there. Ready to okay. get started. I thought that okay. looked really nice with the picture in the background. But is that just too much, do you think? No, it's, it's fine. I, did, I mean, again, it's personal taste. You can always change it later if you don't like it for some reason or something. So, so essentially... Uh, what you're seeing is you're seeing a row and then oh, wait a minute. this is going to be the footer. So this is going to be on every single one. You can make you, unless you want to make different footers and then, and then they could appear on different pages, but normally, normally uh, yeah. the header stays the same. The footer stays the same, but right. you, you can get fancy and you can have it appear differently. So, okay. So now if you're saying you like this and you want it on the home page. Then we can just add we can add a row that looks like this on the home page. Yeah, if let's do that with the home page. Okay. And, but if yeah. you want it on every page or some page, we can we can add that without a problem. Yeah. Okay. I think that will look better on the home page. Okay. And so then, instead of it's instead of doing that, we'll we'll stay on the footer. So I'll go back to your footer area and see. Yep. Let me write home page on here. Okay. Um then we wanted our mission statement. I thought it would be nice to have that again. Um, wait, under our mission statement. Okay. Because we're going to have um, our mission statement on the home page up on top. Okay, only on the home page or not, not in the footer area? Well, I'm, I have it actually in the footer area, and I like that. Um, better. So, um, okay, where are we? Yeah. I, I want to see what your mission statement is here, Kelly. Sorry. If you go up, our mission statement is up on mm -hmm. top. It's from the basic to the elegant, right there. Oh, okay. You, uh, okay. You I, I'm just saying, okay. You, you call it a mission statement. Okay. This one here you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. And so do we don't have that somewhere else? Did I leave that off your website? 
Wow, I can't believe I, 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 I did not mean to leave that off. I'm very surprised. You're fine. We're going to actually have it underneath the, the picture. So we're going to, in our homepage. So we're going to have the. Um, Sorry, I'm there. You're fine. So okay, we're going to so have gonna, it under. Go ahead. I'm in the footer area right now. So that, that, okay. that your mission statement there that you said that you called that. Uh, are you wanting that in the footer or somewhere else on the on the pay, on the website? Um, <clears throat> I'm looking here. Header, because I had it up on top underneath the picture, and then um, I think it's right. It's right. I, we have it right here. Actually, is this, is this what I just copied? Yes. Okay, that is on your home page. Yeah. And okay. I think and I'm on your home page now. And I think what used to be here, I believe, was a photo. Yeah. And, so and there's think, gonna be a photo. Yeah. Okay. And so that, yeah. that that's what I think's mi missing here. And then we I think we had some other stuff, but I think you deleted some photos and some other stuff. So uh I don't mind going here now. We were let me go back to the footer because we were on that. So let me we can go, do you want to put some of the pictures in? Uh, let me just clarify. So I'm still in the footer area. Was okay. there anything else that you wanted to do in this footer area? Okay. I. And if you don't Paul know right wanted, now, that's okay. Yeah, Paul wanted, um, we use state-of-the-art design software to provide personal consultation for each one. Um, you know, actually, as I'm looking at this, I'd like to re-look at this. When I'm, and not waste your time because okay, we did a, a little bit different because I'm switching things up. Okay, um, so let, 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 let me say to you, Kelly, and this is the beauty of the first of this video, but it's also the beauty, you know, with, 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 with what you're learning here is that uh, as, as a reminder, uh, we went to the footer, the template called footer, and, and it looks just like the beaver builder. So if you get adventurous, and you want to, you know, go ahead. Well, well, I can change this word, you know, or okay. you know, go ahead and click. If if you mess it up, we'll fix it. You know, I mean, you can't okay. mess it up too. You know, there's probably nothing you could do that we can't fix. So, well, that you know, helps you, me to know that because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> yeah, and I and I use the word messed up. You know, what'll happen is, you know, you, you'll do something you can't figure out. Just stop, close, and you know, or keep doing whatever else you're, else you're doing. We'll go back and we'll fix it because you know here okay. it, it it's easy to do. So okay. I, I'm in the footer area. You can take your time. If you get adventurous and you want to change some stuff, go ahead and do so. If you want okay. to wait, we can do the footer again. So I'm going to exit out of the footer at this time. Okay. And then I'll go, I'll go to the homepage for the next, you know, 10 minutes or so that we'll stay here together, get this done. So, okay. So I'm going to go now, to, go ahead. Um, For the, the um homepage. When we have one picture up, like what, right when they open it up, yes. there's going to be a big picture here. Do yeah. You recommend... And so what I need to do, let me yep. just, and I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I'm going to go to Builder, and then I'm going to go to Home Page. So, and I could alphabetize it or whatever, but here's the Home Page. Yep. So I click on that. Takes a minute to load, and now we can start to edit it. And so now you can start to see. You can see we have a row. You and I. We had a row here before and yep. we, we don't anymore. So you said, I know you want a photo here. So yep. the photo is a background. It's a background to this row. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go to the row settings, click on the wrench. And over here, I can see it's already, it's a full width. I can see the content is fixed width. But what I want to do is go to the background. So I scroll down. And we don't want to slide. Well, I don't know if you want a slideshow. Did you just want one photo or did you well, want Well, that was my question for you. Um, do you recommend a slideshow? Uh, you know, uh, the, you know, yes and no. The thing about a slideshow is that the, it's going to, the website's going to look different for every person because the page will either be the, the kitchen or the bath or the blue okay. or the red or the green, you know, so the photos, you know, depending on how many photos you have, it's, it's gonna look different for every person. Well, the other that, thing, that, yep, go ahead. The other thing is that what happens with the slideshow is you're adding more code, and so depending on someone's uh, phone, tablet, Wi-Fi, okay. when you're doing the effects, you're also adding movement. So it may look. It's not that it's gonna load slow, 
but it may take a moment, a half a second, a quarter, you know, a second, depending on their Wi-Fi and all that type of stuff. So, okay. um, well, let's do one picture it. now. Okay. So I'm going to go, instead of slideshow, I'm going to go to here and go photo. You can see, yep. you can, you can add all different types of backgrounds on every row. So Kelly, when you start to create different pages with different rows, you can put gradients or colors or videos, slideshows, that type of stuff. So I'm just going to go to photo. What is the gradient? Well, a gradient that goes from blue to green or red to red to orange. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, or you different colors, yeah. you can set it, set it to go up and down or on an angle. So, so okay. it looks slightly different sunset or whatever. So I'm going to go to photo and then it says here media. I had to scroll yeah. down. You see, okay. I'm scrolling down media library and then I'm going to select the photo. And now I'm going to go to the media library. Did you know what photo you wanted? Yep, you can go scroll down. Scroll down. I'm looking. Scroll down. Okay, just stop for a second. It is. Oh, scroll down. I'm looking for it. So how about I'm this, sorry. Kelly, just for, for time? I'm going to just go yep. ahead and use this, this one as an example. Perfect. And so I've got this one here, and I can see that the size fits fine. Okay. Uh, and I can tell it's it's 1920 by 1280, so that, that's a good size. It's not 600 or 800, you know, that'll yep. fit my whole screen. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in for right now. Yep. That's loading. So right now this works, but Kelly, you can go back and change this anytime by going – Row settings, scroll down to here, hit edit, and then go okay. ahead and change whatever photo you want. Okay. Now, what we have here is we have these different things. This is a separator. So this is just space because I wanted more of the photo to show. Okay. This is a separator. This is, again, I just did this to add space to show. And these are all just separators. Now, this is the same thing, duplicate. It's kind of duplicate. So th that photo is kind of kind of too narrow. I, I like it a little bit taller. So I'm just going to hit duplicate, and now it's a. Hold on one second. No, should have just uh, added the uh, fan page. Mm -hmm. So uh, and I need to go back to the page. I click. It wasn't showing up where there was a cache issue. So when I hit publish, then it showed up. So again, troubleshooting, okay. sometimes you have to hit save or you have to hit publish, then it'll show up and you'll be like, it disappeared on me. I've had it where I added twice and then I hit publish and it's like, man, you know, you know, I only needed it once, but now I have to go back and delete the second one because it was there, but I couldn't see it. Okay. So right here, I'm going to go back to here and go, and did you want some words to appear here or something? Um, no, because I, I was going to have the picture go up next to captains. You know what I'm saying? So the picture is going to surround. Oh, you, what you're saying is a transparent background. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. Like, see where captains is and then all the way to contact. That's going to be. So the picture is actually going to go to the side of that. Okay. So that's a different issue. So what the situation is that you're talking about is right now this header has a white background. And the reason why it has a white background- Right, because several captains. different. Yeah, that, that's part of it. But it's also because what happens, and I'm gonna make it uh, transparent, because what happens is sometimes you can't read. That's why when the, this lint, like you can see here, they don't go with a transparent background. And, and this other one, they didn't go with a transparent background because the and I, sometimes the transparent background look look fine. The problem is sometimes what happens is when the background color changes, you can't read the menu. Let me check this one right. here. Here, what they did was they did the effect of a trans. It's not totally transparent, okay. so you, you don't lose the full sight of it. So uh, let me see this one here. So let me, I, I don't know if you want to see what it, I, the one I'm trying to remember, is it Lyndon that had this? No. Well, is there any way we can make it just 
fixed where our header is fixed? Uh, we can make uh, the, the header right now is fixed and we can make it fixed with a transparent background. Would you like to see okay. how that looks? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go to template. I know it's 2.30, go... so. Yes, thank you. And I'll, I'll take three more minutes and then I'll, okay. I'll wrap up here quickly. <laughs> So, and then, and then okay. we'll, we'll get to get we'll get together soon to start editing the homepage and, and yep. add, add more stuff. But so here I am uh, with it's got a white background. Remember the row. I can't edit anything else. I can't edit the footer. I can only edit the header. Right. I go to the row settings, and it's full width. Its content is fixed. I scroll down to the background. The background is a color. What is the color? The color is white. If I get rid of it, now it'll be a transparent background. Well, and then I'm gonna hit save. And to you, the right, right now, nothing's changed, but right. but it has because it's actually, it's only white because then we're working on it. But, you know, that's the default. So I'm gonna hit done, hit publish. Take a second to load, still loading. Uh, I bet you don't have the set right. Bring it back here. Okay. Love it when things don't work the way they're supposed to here. So <laughs> let me go back here to uh, template, header with white background. That's what I'm working on. Over here for the row settings. None. So, so the, you can see what I, again, my mistake, I'm trying to figure out what the heck did I do here? Because I had the word color set there, let me hit none, mm -hmm. and then let's see if that then makes it transparent. Let me hit save, and maybe this will solve it. Maybe not. Let's let's uh, hit the bow out on a failure part, but there. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, what it is is that uh, the white is is not just the background for the header. Right now I have, by default, I'd have to figure out how to change that, is that your work area is white. And so that's why this is, right now it's showing up transparent. Well, I could have said, yeah, I understand you want the photo behind that. Yeah. And so, you, so let me just show you as an example. I know it's not perfect, but if this, you know, was like this, you can see now you're dealing with. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, so that's why companies like this and this other one leave it. This is fixed. It's stay. It's sticky. Right. That's the term. Sticky. Okay. This one is not sticky. Right. So for you okay. guys, you can decide. You know, I don't know that you want the transparent because it, 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 the background is going to be changing color, and you're not always going to be able to see. No, like it's too. No, there's no like. When you were just there, it had that that was um, fixed in some places, but it did say full. Can we just make them both? Well, fixed? And what that and, and what that's talking about is this picture. And what we could do now, this is this is something for you to think about. If you absolutely want, like as an example, you want like this type of effect, you can do a couple different things. But number one is that instead of the uh photo uh no it would it would it would move with it what you could do is do the overlay or underlays so that you could see stuff and make that more transparent like this white could be more transparent so you could still see yeah. the cabinets and I, the the ones who did that was uh this one you can see the 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 overlay you can still see the you see right here, here is a banana yeah. and a cucumber, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, that that's one way 
that you know for you to think about. Uh, another thing that you you know again for for thought, we have a lot of space between this. Now again, if you put kitchen and bath over here, that's different. Right. But you know we don't need this much space, this much okay. white space, so this can go up. But this is you know the menu. So you've got stuff we can play with the size of the the size of the logo, the amount of padding or space here. Okay. You know, whether you want this to be transparent background. Um, so you've got stuff to think about, Kelly, I guess is what I would say on this one. Real quick. So there's no yeah. way to, can you bring Kat, uh, back up? Which one? So there's no this way one? to have the picture on the left and the right and just leave Captain's Cabinetry and to contact in white. Uh, let me see if I understood your question. Uh, okay, so this. Uh, so, so where you're. Okay. So yep. you can see right here, this is a transparent background here. Right. And are you asking if we could make this visible transparent and this transparent, but make this a white background? Yes. Let me double check on that. The answer is maybe, okay. Uh, okay. as opposed to me trying and then failing once or twice of this. But that is a here. No, they didn't do it here. I'll I'll double check on that. And and I just think that would it, it would be nice to have the picture go all the way up on both sides. It just would look nice. But you know, see what you can do, and if not, it's okay too. Yes, and, and I'll I'll double check that. I think no matter what, as I as I look at this, obviously this is just way too much white space, and then it yeah. makes this way much way too much white space. Whereas yeah. at least when you get to, and even that, that's that's still a lot of white space. Yes, yeah. it is. This, so this this one, the menu disappears. It's not sticky. Right. So right. Uh, and this one here, this should shrink, is what it should do, and that's still a lot of white space. They 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 could shrink this down. Yeah. So let me let me double check on that, Kelly. Okay. Uh, I will check on the the logos, and I will check on finish the footer, and check with Cambria as well. Okay. And the next time we get together, which can be relatively quick at your convenience, I know it's a holiday, that type of stuff. But what we'll do is we'll start. We'll go to the homepage, which we're at here, and then we'll lay it out. If you want, I think Perfect. the reason why I was starting on products page was I had one of your. Um, email messages i just copied and pasted so you know you we can say okay this is tab number four that's great so it's tab number four now what would you like where would you like these left right we'll add a row we'll add a column we'll add photos i see on here what i was just so you put put it in your head what i was thinking is at the home page you know it's going to talk about kitchen cam uh kitchen remodeling or whatever and then you click on that and then it takes you to the products page and then that's where the other information is, you know what I mean? So there's more wording there that connects to it. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So uh, the, I, I see these words here. They're all say tab number four. So yeah. are you saying these the chemistry wording? Uh, well, we'll go all over right. that. Whatever, wherever yeah. you want these words to, to appear is where, we'll, where, we'll, where we will put them. Okay. I appreciate so, your. You just have to decide where you want them, and then you know which photo you want. Or you know, I can show you. Okay, like what we what we just did, I can show you how to do it, and you can change the photo, or you can change the words whenever you want and stuff. So. Okay, and I'll change the one photo, too, okay. in the front. So, At your convenience. All right. Other yeah. questions or stuff right now? No, Mark. I really appreciate your help, and we're getting there. Well, <laughs> and we are getting there. I think I think it'll start to roll quicker once the. Uh, I think the train is on the track. We just need to get it moving a little bit. And yep. then uh, I think, I think, and the beauty again, once we have it good enough or great enough, then you, we can put it live. And then yep. you and yep. Paul, we can edit it, change it. You can think about stuff, take new photos, add words. So won't be an issue. Yep. That sounds good. Okay. And what we may want to do again is even to speed stuff up. Like if we remove the blog, you know, for a week or two, three weeks, depending on your schedule, you don't feel pressure to have something going on a blog right away. You've got a complete website. A blog is really great gravy. So it's, it's, it's something most people don't have. So. And it'll be nice to add where the, 
robots will be able to find it. Exactly. And the spiders, again, there'll be sorry. New, new content. So you, you are yep. spiders and bots. It's the same type of thing. So that's yeah, they, they go crawling through it. So you are correct. Okay. I, I know you're a quick, you're a quick study. I'm trying. <laughs> well, Kelly, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And yes, uh, you too, Mark. When would you like to get together again? What's what's realistic for you? Um, we can do next week. Okay. Uh, I'll send you an email and uh, sounds good. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I'll send you an email. We'll double check stuff. So sounds um, good. Are you cooking for tour for Thanksgiving? I am a little bit, but bringing it to a mother-in-law. So okay, that makes it easier. You don't have to. You don't have to clean it. Everything. Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to try to see if I can get this to uh, turn off here. So I see here, stop video, but that only stops the video. I think I have to stop the sharing. So let me hit stop share. Come on, stop share. I'll shut this off in a second here, Kelly. You're good. Well, let me see here. Close the program. I don't want to close because I want to end it so that I don't lose this video. So let me hit wait for the program to respond. It's kind of locking up as I'm in here, Kelly. So, mm -hmm, Zoom. I'm kind of in a pause mode, Kelly. So I'll hang this up as soon as I can. Right now, it's saying Zoom is not responding. Wait, now I can see you back here. It's saying Zoom's not responding. I either close the program or wait for it to respond. So I don't want to close because, like I said, I want to make sure that we don't lose this hour recording. So I click wait for program to respond. It says it's recording on this end still. Yeah, and I know I can see we're still live. It just says it's it still says Zoom meetings is not responding. If you close the program, you might lose information. And then the two choices are close the program or wait for the program to respond. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to close some of this other stuff, see if that helps out. Well, if we if we end this, will it uh I that's I can't end it. Uh, you can you can close your monitor, hang up, whatever, but and you can leave the meeting if you can leave the meeting. For me, it's not I letting can. me. You can I'll leave the it. meeting and then you can figure. Sure, yes. And so maybe that will help and, you. I, and I can't even see you now, but I'm waiting for my thing. To, uh, but yes, I leave the meeting. Take good care. And yes, I hope Mark. you don't lose this recording. So. Yep, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you too, Kelly. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.